What is up everybody and welcome back to the next episode of the bus build series part two of the week of welding where we're going to keep working on the projects that we brought up in the last video. A quick reminder to hit that like button below the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos and then we will get into right where we left off in the last video. At the end of part one of the week of welding I left you with primed pieces that were going to support the water tank and the propane tank. I guess that's a little sneak peek but we're going to finish that up we're going to get those installed as well as the tow hitch and then we're going to start working on the roof deck. Mid-morning on day three and we've put our final coat of paint on all these components that are going to be holding up the propane tank and the water tank. All it's going to take now is putting them in there and bolting them down and pulling on those lock nuts so that that stuff isn't going to move. Tow hitch, final coat of paint, that's just got to get bolted up as well. The water tank and the propane tank are in. Here's propane right there and then behind it in there that's the water tank the gray water tank hanging there and these things are rock solid they're going everywhere the bus goes we're starting work on putting up the plates that are going to support the roof deck up there we have three plates on each plate has four bolts two through the main body of the hat channel and two through the flat bar that goes between the ribs it's going to be plenty sturdy i have no doubt about it so we're going to put three more plates up on this side and then we're going to cut a couple vertical pieces that will weld to those plates and then on to those vertical pieces will set the whole platform. Okay, we are at critical moment in building the frame of this roof deck. Let's show you what's going on. We have clamped together a perfect square, okay? This is the U-channel that is gonna sit on top of our posts, and we've clamped it so that it's flat here, it's square in these corners, so this channel and that channel are parallel to each other. Perfect, okay? Now what we're gonna do, these posts are sitting in here freeloading, but we're gonna tack weld those to these plates so that they're gonna be stuck at that angle right there, right? That way we can get these to slide right back into the hat channel later. We're gonna just tack weld it, then we'll take the plates off and weld them back inside where we can really use some heat and not worry about messing up paint or messing things up up here. This is what the plate and post combo looks like as you can tell there's a slight angle to these because the roof is actually angled outwards so in order for the post to be completely upright the plate has to be angled and the cut has to be slightly angled so right now it's tack welded onto the plate we're taking it inside and we're going to put a big bead all the way around that and get this thing rock solid so then we can paint it prime it and drill a hole here for bolting the roof rack on So we built our little grid platform base out of out of inch and a half aluminum square tubing and we tack welded it together, flipped over, tack welded the bottom side. Now Ruben is about to start welding some of the inner seams. Again, we're not pros, so the more practice we can get on some hidden areas, the better looking our welds will be on the more visible parts. So we're doing a little bit at a time and we'll see how it goes. Okay, super exciting stuff. We got the holes drilled in the posts, the holes drilled in the rails, so we were able to bolt them together, which let us set the whole frame deck that we built earlier up on top, and now we have a very good idea as to what it's gonna look like once it's all put together. Check that out. This is still like, 
not attached yet because we're gonna weld on all the contacts and then it's gonna be rock solid once we get all the bolts in here and tightened down this thing is taking shape it's looking good it's fitting right So I haven't done much filming today yet, and that's because we had some technical issues and some machine problems, and it slowed us down a bit, and like I said before, when it's slow, it's very hard to film and actually get some content. But, look at here. We finally got things dialed, and we were able to finish the welding on the roof deck, and now we have a rail that goes all the way around, about eight inches tall, and it's all welded on there, rock solid. Right, Rube? Right. Right. So now we're gonna hit it with some primer and then we'll hit it with some normal paint and then it's gonna look real swanky and be just about done. We'll probably bolt it back up on the roof and be ready to rip. It is currently pouring rain. It's Tuesday morning and Ruben is leaving today. So we're trying to get as much done as we need two people for, so that once he's gone, I can work on the rest of everything that needs to happen. Um, yesterday, we were able to finish welding, prepping, and we primed the roof deck. So right now we're painting it. It's so cold that it takes forever for paint to dry. So we're gonna paint it right now and then leave it for a while before we try and install it. But hopefully we can get that installed before Ruben leaves. So before Ruben left, we were able to finish getting this painted, let it dry just enough to the point where we could put it up on the roof. It is all bolted together. We're missing a few bolts still because my Uncle Bill is picking those up in town, but as soon as he's back, we'll pop those bolts in and this thing is gonna be done. Set, start rock solid, ready for deck boards, but we'll finish those back in California. I've painted a layer of flex seal on top of all the plates and on the edges and the cracks and crevices to make sure that no water can get under them or through them. And now that the roof deck is here and the plates are finished, I gotta have a way to get up here. So that's what's next. We're gonna build a ladder coming down this back corner behind the door so that you can climb straight from the ground right up to the deck. Because there's these lights that stick off in the back corner, We've designed the ladder to have a little bit more space off the bus at the bottom than it does off the top. So that'll actually give it a little bit of a slant so that when you're climbing up and down, it's not a perfect upright ladder. It's gonna be slightly tipped, which will make it much easier to go up and down the ladder. So we're gonna bolt it to the bumper down here. It'll come off about eight or 10 inches and then slightly gently slope upwards to where we'll bolt it to the bottom edge of the rack up top. So. Here I've cut a few pieces. They're just set there, nothing's together. But here's one long side rung. And this angle is 86 degrees. So that we'll get that slight bit of slant coming up this way. And then this is where it's gonna go back down and bolt to the bumper. So, gotta weld all this together. We'll hold it up and look at it and see what we think. All right, so I've welded together that bolt plate, the out, the 86 degree angle, and yeah right now that piece just ends blank at the top because i have no way to measure and get the exact right cut on the top end that'll go to the platform so i think what might work best is to build another one of these same exact thing because we need two on each side and then possibly put in my bottom rung and my top rung so that the whole ladder is in the ladder shape that way i can kind of clamp it to the bumper, kind of hold it up in place, and then get up there and measure some pieces that'll be the right length to get the top attachment done. It's kind of confusing. I'm figuring it out in my head as I go. So uh, bear with me, but we'll get it. Okay, 
Okay, I'm laying out my ladder. I've tack welded the bottom rung and I'm gonna tack weld one of the taller rungs, six feet right there. So then I have a big rectangle which I can hold up and test. So I tack welded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rungs to the ladder frame and that goes almost all the way to the top. I may have one more rung but that may be too close to the top platform that I may not. Or may, there's options but we'll see how the top finishes out. But I cut the frame pieces to be intentionally long that way I could get it in place like this and then measure from the top and mark a little line exactly where I want to cut it. So that's what I've done. So the top end, top end now will get trimmed and then I'll weld on my little angle piece that's gonna be at the top of the ladder that meets the platform nice and flush. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna take that down, chop the ends off, weld that on. Then we're getting pretty close to like the finished framework. Then a whole bunch of finished welding, not just tack welding. Cut myself a piece of quarter inch flat bar and I'm going to weld to the ends of these both to make sure that these stay a set distance apart but as well this is going to give us the mounting points where I can bolt the top right up there. Let's weld it. Good morning. This morning is my, the start to the last day of work here in Idaho and the week of welding. Ideally, I can leave this evening and get halfway to my next <coughs> uh, to my next <laughs> destination. But if that doesn't work and we're working till late tonight, then I will leave early, early tomorrow morning so I can spread that drive out throughout the day. Whew. I was working on this ladder till like 11 o'clock last night and I got it clamped up there. So all I got to do today is bolt it. However, if we look down here at these plates, once this thing's all up there and square, the plates ended up a little wonky. This one's rotated that way. This one is some other funky kind of one. So I'm gonna chop those plates off right there, clean at the weld, clean up the plates a little bit. And then I'm gonna bolt the plates to the bumper and then see where the ladder hangs and then weld it accordingly if that makes sense. That way my plates are gonna be square to the bumper and then my ladder is gonna be welded to the plates. And then a couple bolts up top and we can climb this sucker. Here's the moment of truth. We'll test out the ladder and see how it works. just started raining again right when I wrapped up oh my towel that needs to be dry <laughs> anyways I just finished project number five of five and that was mounting my spare tire up underneath the bus right behind the gas tank 
It was a little bit tricky. It was a lot of rolling around on the ground trying to get my angles right and get my hole sizes just perfect. It's up there now. Hopefully it's gonna stay there even when I'm driving and not jiggle around and bounce out. Um, ugh. But I'm going to pack up and take a shower and head out of here because I need to be in Central Oregon tomorrow and that's like a 10 hour drive and I'm not super down to do that all in one day. So with that, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing this crazy kind of work that you're not used to on this channel, all this welding stuff. I sure loved it. I didn't know I could work this hard and I certainly learned a lot about welding and myself and man, it's been a crazy week. Again, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos. And we'll see you back in California. Bye.